Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel na nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin dara na. Shout out ng Godless to Real Vlog, Connie Vlog, Yens TV, Heart Ponsalan, Heart Billeta, Retro Vlog, Junalyn Pakunayan, Molik Salamada, Michael Aborita, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Bautang, Bautong Bai Channel, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere, but still have put up here to watch and listen to the devotional. God bless us all, guys. Praise God, it's Friday at makapagpapahinga naman tayo sa mga estudyante at yung mga nagtatrabaho from Monday to Saturday. Still guys, I'm encouraging you to really spend your time with your family, especially that we do not know what's beyond. God is in control. Ito lang naman yung ano ko, advocacy ko. Dapat uh, we always prepare and spend time with our family together. Ang guys, let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Deuteronomy. Chapter 31, verses 15 to 22. 31, 15 to 22. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word is used to simplify the maintenance talaga natin. Okay, this is about Israel's rebellion predicted. So, the word of the Lord in Deuteronomy 31, verses 15 to 22 says, Then the Lord appeared at the tent in a pillar of cloud, and a cloud stood over the entrance to the tent. And the Lord said to Moses, You are going to rest with your father, and those people will soon prostitute themselves to the foreign gods of the land they are entering. They will forsake me and break the covenant I made with them. On that day, I will become angry, angry with them and forsake them. I will hide my face from them, and they will be destroyed. Many disasters and difficulties will come upon them, and on that day, they will ask, Have not these disasters come upon because our God is not with us? And I will certainly hide my face on that day because of all their wickedness in turning to other gods. Now write down for yourself this song and teach it to the Israelites and have them sing it so that it may be a witness for me against them. When I have brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, the land I promised an oath to their forefathers, and when they eat their, fee their field and tribe, they will turn and other they will turn to other gods and worship them, rejecting me and breaking my covenant. And when many disasters and difficulties come upon them, this song will satisfy against them because it will not be forgotten by their descendants. I know what they are disposed to do, even before I bring them into the land I promised them an, an oath. So Moses wrote down this song that they had taught us and taught it to the Israelites. Amen and amen. Are you guys not pray? <clears throat> Lord, teach us not to be like the Israelites, O oh God, na turning our back against you, O oh God. But instead, at this time of needs, makafocus kami sa you, O oh God. Especially that we do not know what will happen uh, beyond in our future, O oh God. Lord, teach us to release that in you. Bigyan mo kami ng faith, O oh God, about isa sa amin. Yung mga andito ngayon, nanonood, nakikinig, O oh God. Give us the courage to really serve you, O oh God, and not to betray you, O oh God. Kasi, Lord, and every problem and every need we have, sa iyo lang kami dumudulog, O oh God. That's why, Lord, we pray, teach us, convict us to really go near you and serve you, O oh God, like what uh, Moses have done. These us who sing new songs, O oh Lord God, songs of praise, to praise and worship you. Lord, teach us, O oh God. To sing new songs to you, O oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. 
Amen and Amen. Okay guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Deuteronomy 31 verse 32. Uh, and it says, So Moses wrote down this song that day and taught it to the, to the Israelites. So the title of our devotion for this evening guys is, What's Your Song? Most Americans know little about Alexander Hamilton until 2015 when Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote his hit musical Hamilton. Now school children know Hamilton's story by heart. They sing it to each other on the bus and at recess. He is the favorite founding father. God knows the power of music and he told music to write down this song. And this is the Israelites and have them seen it in Deuteronomy 31.19. God knew that long after Moses has gone, when he had brought Israelites to the promised land, they would rebel and worship other gods. So he told Moses, this song will testify against them because it will not be forgotten by their descendants in verse 21. Songs are nearly impossible to forget. So it's wise to be selective about what we sing. Some songs are just for fun, and that's fine. But we benefit from songs that boast in Jesus and encourage our faith. One of the ways we make the most of every opportunity is when we speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. So sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Songs can be an indicator of the direction of our heart. Do the word make much of Jesus? Do we sing them wholeheartedly? What we sing will influence what we believe. So choose wisely and sing loudly. Yes, guys, no? <clears throat> May isang kanta na kinanta ng grupo namin nung ano nung December kasi our party has a lot of yung mga karaoke song ganyan no? and I was so surprised with with the lyrics sabi ko ha ganyan yung ano niya yung mga lyrics niya parang uh, cursing yung mga lyrics niya kaya sabi ko guys it's mas possible to not sing that song kasi iba yung song natin you should not be like that so sabi ng isa ko naman kasama oh yes sir it's really more of a curse no? sabi ko wow napaka ano naman very opposite sa mga sina kinakanta natin no kaya guys no uh, let's uh, teach ourselves to sing songs maski yung magsing lang tayo in the spirit no even if we're quiet Maka sing the spirit tayo. Ako, that's what I'm doing, especially if yung na, ang paligid ko, maano, yung uh, maingay, and then so uneasy. You know? So, ako, I just sing with the spirit. I keep quiet, but yung mind ko, no, nagsising na, nagpapay sa worship na. Kaya let's uh, use our talent in singing for God's glory, not for the world. no Kasi, Sometimes, parang <laughs> we are bullying ourselves, we're bullying God. No, parang we sing songs just to, ano, yung, to please the world, but ang maganda talaga is we need to please God. No, na matuwa siya sa buhay natin habang nakakanta tayo. And at the same time, you can also praise and worship God in that way. No? Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. What should you look for in a worship song? Yung biblical talaga, no? Kasi very, we have to be very discerning, maski nga sa YouTube ngayon. Uh, may mga gandang mga words, pero sabi ko, ha? Nice yung word niya, pero galing ba to sa Bible? No? Quote-unquote, author. Mas maganda talaga, guys, na, na mag-refer pa rin tayo sa ano, yung the words of the Bible. May mga kanta na kinuha din nila yung lyrics sa Bible, kaya that's what I'm encouraging you to sing. Second question, is there a favorite song you can sing more than, more often? Yes! How great thou art! <laughs> then sings my soul! O diba? Ang daming, ano, kay Don Moen, yung uh, God will make a way. O yun, ang, ang dami-daming, ano, dami-daming mga kanta na favorite ko. Kaya, many times I use my cell phone to listen sa mga praise and worship songs, sa mga hymnal songs, kasi it glorifies God and it uplifts your heart and spirit. 
na ma-encourage ka talaga na, wow, Lord, ang ganda pala pag ganito, no? Okay, so, yun. No? So, guys, let's now pray. Father, this song in our heart, in our prayer, and this song is also our prayer to you. How great thou art, O God. How great thou art. Mas ganda yung kanta, God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. Amen. Guys, I sing that song because I know the lyrics is really good and it pleases God. No? Kasi nga, God answers prayer in the morning, noon, at night. Guys, ano ang kanta mo? Para kay Lord, kantahin mo yan. Yes, guys, God bless us all because I know God will sure bless us 10 times better. This is again, this is Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli. Tanggan sa muli. Paalam!